So in today's tutorials, we'll be looking at how to create or write some functions in our and this time we'll be looking at statistical functions and this is just um, um, an introductory um, lecture or tutorial. We'll be looking at more advanced as, as we proceed. So to begin, let's look at the outline. We're looking at the sample mean and the sample variance. So to start with, let's look at the sample mean. So the sample mean um, actually we already know the algorithm which is given by sum of all the values divided by n so let's look at this example we have our test score of some students they are 10 students in all and these are the test scores of the students some had 30 percent 45 percent 38 and what have you i think the highest was 83 in this um example so how do we get the mean of these values? We have to divide, sum all the values and divide by the number of observations that we have. Here we have 10 of them. So we add each test score and divide by the number of values that we have to get at average, which is 58.5. How do we do this in R? Let's jump to R. So this is our R studio. We have sample, see the code, see the code um, for sample mean for sample mean so i'm going to name the function sum dot mean and in this my input is going to be x which is basically going to be um x is a um, set of some values right or a set of a number or a set of some values and then i'm gonna compute x bar so i have some of my values divided by the length of the value which is going to give me my n so this length of x is going to give you the n and this is the sum of all the values that i'm going to have to get a sample mean so i want to display x bar right so display results so let's let's run this so let's take our test score test the score we have let's look at our test scores we have 30 45 30 45 we have 38 we have 71 77 we have 8364 8, we have um, 60, 49, 60, 49, and uh, we have 38, so 68. So that's it. So let's let's run this. So running it. Now we can call our function sum dot mean test dot score right so some domain test the score so let's let's run this oh x bar not found x bar x bar oh spelling mistake so x bar instead so let's let's run the whole of this now together so that's at 58.5 as the manual one we can also use the inbuilt function mean to get the same result test the score so this is an inbuilt function for sample mean right so if you run this we're gonna get the same results now the next is how do we compute the sample variance for these same test scores so we know the sample variance is given as this one divided by 
n minus 1 then the sum of the squares deviations right so we have to do this in r let's let's look at we know how to do the manual one so let's and learn how to do it in r that's writing our own function to to execute the same command so let me copy this and i'm going to change some of the values and to get the same results as the input function for sample variance so serial code for sample variance All right serial code for sample variance um i'm gonna change this name to sum.var then x.var or xvar xvar so with the sample variance we are gonna have the squares deviation so i'm gonna have um squared so i'm gonna have x minus the sum mean now i have already created a function for sample means i'm gonna use that in here so x minus the mean that is sum mean squared divided by n minus one n minus one that's the length minus one right so we have that then i have to change this to sum dot var then the input for variance sample variance for some variance right input for i'm using that's the var so let's run this or command to execute our text so that's it that's it the sample variance that's our function and the sample variance that's the input function and the results are basically the same so we are good to go so that's it for today and uh, i would like you to go through this how do you get a coefficient of variation that's the standard deviation divided by sample mean multiplied by 100 from the spreads as percentage so i think that would be for today and uh, thank you for watching and um, if you have not subscribed please kindly do so just subscribe so that anytime i make a new video you can also have access to it thank you for watching see you next time